Um, consider your industry. You know, a lot of times uh, you know, I might have a, a, like a pharma client, for example, that says, you know, we don't really have an organization we support in general, but it, you know, we say you know, it might be good to give back to children who are, who are in their treatment for illnesses, or you know, something that can fit the industry that you're a part of. Uh, a lot of technology clients that we have now, tech clients or anyone, engineers, they love doing programs that give back to STEM education, science, technology, engineering, math gravitate towards our solar car building program that Scott mentioned earlier, Go Green Racing, because you have engineers doing engineer stuff that can be donated to kids who can get excited about engineering that can, that can create their next workforce. So that makes sense with who they are as a company and how that, that program fits into who they are. Um, getting the views, of course, of the opinions and attendees and stakeholders. This is important too. You know, sometimes you know, it might be because your, your company supports a certain cause, but it could be because you, know, you as a meeting planner or, or you knowing the, knowing the, uh, the executive host has a special you know, spot in his or her heart about a certain cause. Uh, we did a program recently where the, they, their, their company was a technology company that was really into education. That was their cause they supported. But the CEO was really into fitness. Really into fitness. So they did a program that was going to result in donation of physical education equipment to after school programs um, so that, you know, to really to fight childhood obesity. And it fit because the CEO, you can imagine what he said when they brought that up to him. He said, wow, this is a program that fits this guy. It's his meeting. And he bought into it. Okay, so that's a way to, to get that uh, to get that type of type of a, a program in. Um, taking a look at the uh, at the uh, also the other stakeholders, regional events. You know, find out you know, what are some of the causes that your that their employees are helping out. We have a lot of times surveys will go out to the different regions, and, and they'll try and find out from the regional directors you know who who is doing what. You know, different offices like to support different causes. What are what do our employees care about in this office? How can we integrate that into our national meeting? That's something to consider. The theme, the type, the goals, um, all of these things are very important as well. Sometimes when you have a, you know, we've had uh, countless number of times when a client's called up and says, our theme is gearing up for next year. Okay, so gearing up, you think gears, you know, can go, it's the idea of building bikes, it can be towards a, a number of things. Um, you know, we want to build for the future. Okay, cool, let's, let's build these bookshelves, make sure we can go in and let's build, you know, build something, we'll go with that term. Those terms sometimes can lead into some different things that can help. Examining those demographics uh, and also considering voluntary versus mandatory. Uh, my incentive clients love this. Okay, here's that big question. Am I going to make it mandatory? We're going to make it voluntary. Big question. We brought them here. They, they earned this trip. They're being rewarded for it. Are we going to make them do something? You know, different one clients do different things. But again, you want to consider the question. Should this be something that we mandate people do? Or is this something that we should have an experience that's set aside where people can access that experience if they want to? Getting that C-suite buy-in is so important. As a planner, you approach your, uh, you approach your, your the C-suite and say, hey, you know, we know that our company um, cares a lot about education, but we thought that when we get together for our annual meeting, uh, it would be great if we can do something that's going to support local charter schools, it's going to support a junior achievement, it's going to support after-school programs that are trying to get kids to learn more about uh, you know, uh, this and that. So it's, you know, when you approach them with this kind of information, it shows you've done your homework, of course, but it also shows that, um, that you know what's, in, what's important to the company what those buttons are to push, but also you can get that, um, um, they can see that value uh, of what that brings. Exploring activities, of course, that, that are locally where your event takes place is important. Um, certainly, your, like I mentioned before, your CVP is so helpful in this. Um, sometimes, you know, when we have these situations uh, where the, you, it's kind of, you don't know where to turn. Like I mentioned, to, to find out what's going on locally, um, you can use sources like uh, like your, your volunteer match. You know, maybe volunteer matches can be able to help your 300 person group. But you can do a search on volunteer match, find out the types of organizations that are in that community, find the ones that you think sound intriguing, call them, what can we do to help you, you know? So you can use that as a resource for you. Your CVVs, um, a lot of times they have, you know, there's a lot of these calls from CVVs that just want, they, they just, or the, the, I'm sorry, the clients will call the CVVs and say, we know about this opportunity that's available. Um, but you also have other, other um, uh, organizations that can help you as well. I mean, you have uh, the people who live in the very community you're planning your meeting in. Okay, uh, such as your, the people you're working with at the hotels, at your DMCs. There's so many places that you can turn to for, for that local idea of what will be unique to this community. Um, don't, not, not falling victim to that CSR meeting and event myth, I think is extremely important. Try and consider some of these things and, and at least ask that question, what could I do? Okay, instead of uh, why can't I do it? I think it's an extremely important thing. And lastly, uh, like I mentioned before, is, is, oh sorry, I'm sorry, seeking sponsorship opportunities. I know we have some nonprofits in the room associations. And a lot of times I'll have situations where I have the, um, where I get the question, speaking about like this, like, how am I gonna pay for this? You know, what, where's that money gonna come from? Uh, and I think that uh, one of the things I like to ask is, you know, like, who, who paid for lunch today? You know, who paid for dinner? Uh, who paid for the smoothie machine next to the registration desk? 
You know, these are things that we see day in, day out, association sometimes, where it's like, what kind of people, who's paying for those things? A lot of times you're being sponsored. Well, if you're a sponsor of those types of things, would you feel comfortable, would you want to, I mean, you need the, the lunch, you need the dinner, smoothies, machine's not bad either. Um, but imagine being able to offer a, spon a company the opportunity to sponsor the community service event and attaching your name to it. Ask your attendees, ask those people who are willing to sponsor, would they want to sponsor an event like this? Money can come from that. 